Hi, welcome back to my um, channel Rank Country Sticks. Um, you have just seen the last uh, video, we were doing a little uh, Labrador. So we finished that, we're still working on a couple of horns, those are cool enough after being heated and put in jigs and presses and things. I've got a commission to do um, a twin woodcock thumbstick. Uh, this is an early one I've done, I've done a few of these, some with horn beaks, some with wooden beaks, um, different timbers, um, whatever. So, um, one I did in the past, I used uh, what we call London plain. I've got a piece of London plain which is just big enough. So this is a, um, a turning blank for uh, wood turns, so they can make bowls and things. But uh, so, so it's a good source of timber for was uh, stick makers. So, as I say, because we've got certain viewers want to see all the steps, we're going to film everything we do and uh, <laughs> I hope it all works out. We're going to show you all the steps. If you get bored, fast forward or go to the next episode and um, catch up there. So, right. When I first made these thumbsticks, I had to experiment and figure out how to do things because these two heads are not opposite each other, they're offset because these beaks have to lie alongside the head or the neck of the opposing head. So, like I've told you in other uh, videos, you need little things that you can work off. Whether it's sort of like pot dogs, whether it's templates, pictures, you name it, you want to have it, you want to use it because it's going to help you. Once I figured how to do the first one of these, I made sure first of all I had a template and then I had a 3D template. Because as you can see, that head or those heads are offset. And to try and remember how to do it, I did myself a, a preliminary carving and kept that as um, a reminder. Right, okay. So, we've got our uh, London plane which has a lovely grain in it. Um, some are better than others. We shall see what this looks like. You need a piece wide enough to take both heads. So you want to put your dividers on and find out what thickness of material you need. I've got lots of timber, a lot of it isn't thick enough. This, fortunately, is. Sorry, you can't see that. So we're very lucky. We've got the London plane. It's thick enough. It's just big enough to put our template drawing on. Uh, what we need to do now is reduce this to the things we want. Now, I did tell you earlier on uh, when we were cutting the uh, buffalo horn, you've got to be very careful of trying to bandsaw weird shapes and if you try and bandsaw this as I say in the round it's going to snatch, it's going to do all sorts so what we're going to do first of all is put a flat in this so that can lay on the bed of the, the bandsaw or we'll put some um, I don't know what you call them plastic guides in and see if we can sort of do this safely and remove this timber here. So that's the waste we're going to take off. Um, 
we'll just have to move things around a wee bit. Um, what I've already done with this, because either this was cut when it was very wet, or it wasn't, I think it was cut when it was very wet, and since it's shrunk, none of the surfaces are flat. I've actually planed that, uh, so that's pretty straight. Um, but if I lay that down there, it's going to rock. So I'm just wondering whether to plane this or take a chance. So let's see how we go on. One minute. Right, I've, I've elected to just plane this off a wee bit, and I'm going to plane it here. Um, I don't think you need to see that working. So I'm going to plane that, just flatten that um, off, uh, make it a bit safer, and then um, we can cut that off, and then that'll give us a flat, so we can cut that way and take the waste off. Okay, so we've, we've taken a bit off there, planing. It's a lot more stable, I'm happy with that. Uh, we're just going to run through this, take that bottom off, and then we can take the waste off. Okay, that's all right. I'm just going to plane this very, very quickly, make sure it's perfectly straight, and then that can sit there. I will take uh, a vertical slice off. So there we go. So we've now got our piece of timber, the right thickness. See that should be the same thickness. And we now need to cut our uh, shape out.
so there we are. <laughs> we've bandsawed that out. We did have to stop just to fix the bandsaw which was making a racket. So we had to do some quick modifications just to uh, keep it on the quiet side. So you can see now this is what we've got. All that around here. Is any better? And what we're going to do, we're not going to do it now, we're going to do it uh, perhaps tomorrow. Take like a piece out of that side, piece out of that side, they're going to be at an angle and uh, that will allow the beads, the, the beaks, sorry, to lie alongside the other side. Now, I have already marked where the eyes will be because that was on my flat um, profile guide. So that saves messing about later on. That's it for now. Catch me on the next um, video. Thank you. Bye bye.